Welcome pastors and ministry leaders to this week's Marry the Vision V-Mail. I'm Ron Yutzi, and for the next few minutes, I'm gonna share some things that I'm gonna pray will lift your spirit, they're gonna strengthen you in your relationship with the living Christ, and my prayer is that it's going to encourage you in your ministry assignment to be able to help you advance it in fulfilling what Jesus Christ has called you to do. For the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be talking about something that I'm calling catching the little foxes, that we're stewards of development. Now, let me share with you where I've got this from, because we're going to have a really neat journey. Now, let me say this. I know ahead of time, all of you that are watching, is that you're, you could be a pastor, you could be in ministry, you could be leading a department in the church, you could be as a leader, you could be married, have a marital relationship. You could have children, so you have a family. Uh, maybe you're leading a business, and so you have a business as well on the side. I realize that in speaking to you, the reason that this content over the next couple of weeks is going to be so important is because you have a multi-tiered influence in your world. Here's what the Song of Solomon says in Solomon uh, Song of Solomon chapter 2, and I'm going to read from verses uh, 14 and 15. My dove is in the clefts of the rock, in the hiding places, on the mountainside. Show me your face, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. Notice verse 15. Catch for us the foxes, the little foxes that ruin the vineyards, our vineyards, that are in bloom. That's the NIV translation. Let me read it to you in another translation. It says, catch all the foxes. This is verse 15. Those little foxes before they ruin the vineyard of love. For the grapevines are blossoming. That's the New Living Translation. Notice the New King James. It says, catch us the foxes, all of them, the little foxes that spoil the vines for our vines have tender grapes. Here's the idea behind this. Let's just look for a minute at the vineyard. The vineyard is a place of fruitfulness. Something is in bloom. It's a vineyard and it's blooming. Something is developing. It, it's producing successfully. Uh, that could be serving a purpose, right? It's valuable to the, to the person who's growing it and who's developing it uh, because you now which is what the scripture is saying, you're a steward over this. In this case, it happens to be a vineyard. You're a steward to care for it and to protect it so that it will serve its purpose. What is the purpose? To produce fruit. Now, obviously, in the setting of the scripture, love is blossoming in a relationship. But this could also mean the deepening of faith in the life of a believer that causes a blooming in their walk with God where somebody could be experiencing ministry growth. Your ministry could be experiencing growth. You could be experiencing financial growth, maybe staff development. Uh, maybe you're seeing an increase of influential impact in your community. Whatever that is, that is fruit, and we praise God for it. But here's what these verses help us to see, and that's this. We are to be mindful of the little foxes. Why is that? Because these little foxes are the strategy of our enemy, the devil, to either hinder or destroy future fulfillment. See, it's in bloom. We're seeing that it is growing. It is developing. Hasn't come to its fruition totally yet. And the warning comes, beware of these little foxes. Catch them. You see, small foxes were often too little to reach the grapes that were growing on the tops of the vines. So what? here's what they would do. They would chew at the very base. They would get there and they'd chew at it until it they chewed through the vine and it broke in two. Now this would cause the vine to fall over or make it easier for the fox to pull it out of the ground. Now, ministry leader, hear me. These verses remind us that while there may be no giants right now that are in front of us that we need to overcome, we need to always be aware that there are little foxes that seem to creep in our lives and our ministries, our church. And what are they seeking to do? Spoil the future 
fruitfulness that God has intended. Now, these little foxes will feed on human weakness. And what do I mean by that? I mean carnality that's at work in us. We are all human frail vessels. Remember this. God cursed the serpent who deceived Eve in the garden. Remember? And then God said to the serpent in Genesis 3 verse 14, On your belly you shall go and you shall eat the dust of all the days of your life. The dust of what? The dust of the earth. Well, let's remember, God made man out of the dust of the ground. Genesis 2, verse 7. Now, but what made man come to life wasn't the dust. It was the breath that God breathed into man. You see, <laughs> the devil crawls and feeds on human weakness. Our flesh, right? Our carnal nature. That's why there will always be challenges and difficulties and growth opportunities in our relationships. It's these little foxes of verse 15. I mean, after all, let's remember, the marriage relationship is two imperfect people, like it's referring to in Song of Solomon. They get up close and they get personal with one another. But however, you know, <laughs> they got to look out for these marital varmints, for these relational varmints, because this is a vivid way of acknowledging that things can wreck a relationship. And that's a marriage relationship, ministry relationships, friendship relationships. This verse reminds us to identify and catch these little foxes, not the big giants, the little foxes before it's too late and the fruit is hindered and ruined. And we're going to talk about that. We are being called. We are being summoned. We are being, uh, God's instruction to us is to be stewards of development. In other words, the vineyard. It's a future fruitfulness. And you need to be a steward of the development of that and watch out for the little foxes that are coming in to spoil the vine. Now, just like the grapes that must be protected from the little foxes, we've got to protect what is valuable, like our character, our relationships, our relationship with Christ, our relationship with our church family, our ministry team, and the relationships that we form and develop there. We have to protect them. We got to protect them from these little varmints, these ungodly influences, these poor habits that we might not even notice initially. But if not careful, their intention is they want to come in and spoil, and if possible, even destroy the positive Christ-like qualities that are at work in us, that are seeking to be developed in us and in our church and in the ministries that we lead. So, what are some of these little foxes that spoil the vine? The little foxes represent our small faults or deficiencies that could potentially do a lot of damage to our characters. These tender grapes represent fruitfulness in our character, fruitfulness in God's love and his anointing, the anointing of the Holy Spirit in our lives and in our church. And we must be alert and on guard to protect ourselves from these little foxes, these varmints that seek to spoil the vine, God's beautiful work of fruitfulness in our lives. Now, pastor, ministry leader, I want to pray for you. I want to ask the Holy Spirit to show us any little foxes that are trying to spoil fruitfulness in our lives, marriages, homes, ministry, relationships. There's a verse here, and I'm going to read it to you in Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 1, and I'm reading out of the New Living Translation that says this, As dead flies cause even a bottle of perfume to stink, so a little foolishness spoils great wisdom, and honor. You see, what does that mean to you and I? That means just something little, like a fly, getting into something that's supposed to be beautiful and sweet can spoil it. 
That's exactly what these little foxes seek to do. So I'm just going to ask God right now to help us, help all of us, help you. That if there is any of those little foxes, Lord, show us what they are. God, I pray for everyone watching this, everyone listening. I'm asking you, help us, Lord, as leaders, as spouses, as parents. Help us as friends. Help us as leaders in a ministry department. Help us to be proactive stewards of development in our life. The development that we grow what is and allow it to grow what you're working in us and that we are able to see a harvest and a fruitfulness that serves the purposes of God. Lord, I ask you, open our eyes to see if there are any of these little foxes that are seeking to spoil the fruitfulness that you are working within us. Lord, show us what they are. Help us to see them. Help us to hear your voice. And then, Lord, give us the courage to have the honesty and the integrity to address them because we want to bear the fruit that represents Jesus Christ, advances the ministry assignment that you've given to us, and helps to grow our children, our spouses, our marriage, the church we lead, the ministry we lead, the team that we lead. Help to grow that to be everything you intended it to be in Jesus name. Ha <laughs> ha. Amen. All right. So next week we'll pick this up. I'm going to talk about next time we're together, our personal life and we'll address some things on that. But if you know a pastor or minister that could benefit from this, would you please share it with them? Whether you forward this email to them, you encourage them to go to our website, marythevision.com, or even to our YouTube page where they can access a video like this and other videos, share it with them because I know pastors are praying and asking for voices, for influences that will help support them and come alongside and be that supportive wing of ministry and helping them to grow a great church for God. And that is exactly what Mary the Vision does. So until next week, this is Ron Yutze. I'm committed to your ministry success in Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching this video. Please take the time, browse other videos on our Mary the Vision YouTube channel. You can help us by subscribing, liking, leaving a comment, and sharing a video. Continue to pursue Jesus.